Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, just do kind of a build video, but on a LCD today. Um, just part of it. Probably won't get the whole thing done in this video, but uh, objective is I want to make a nice looking LCD frame that matches the uh, the block work around uh, this area here. Um, and and just to, just to let you know, this is my second take on the video. The the first take I actually completed it, but I was trying to show something with the undo button before I saved the creation and I blew away like everything I made um, and I'm still quite upset about it but <laughs> I'm gonna try to move forward and just do it all again um, which uh, kind of kind of stinks um, so what I did is I placed an LCD down here now right right below this screen area I've got actually five locations where, where I can uh, kind of hide away some LCDs uh, so the very first one here, and this is going to be for the frame, I, I placed a LCD in the middle. And what I'm going to want to do at this point is hop in the LCD and I, I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to set a background color to something. Let's just say we go with like this white and then we're going to, we know it's five blocks across and two blocks up and down up there. So I'm going to try to get this in position. So basically I, I up the, uh, the width and the height of the LCD. Um, and I set the background color so I can see the uh, the borders of it. Obviously, that whole wall turned white now. Um, and then I got to move this LCD. So, because that's the last thing I selected, um, when I hit P again, if I'm not pointing at an object that has options, such as a light or a cargo, uh, cargo controller or any parts, if I'm just staring at a wall, when I, it'll remember the last thing I selected. So I can like look at the wall hit P again, it'll bring up the LCD that I just had there. And now I just want to position it. So what I know is I, I know it's going to need to go forward one block. Um, so if I, and that would be your Z. And then I, I know it's going to have to go up some here too. So we've got to uh, bring this up to about there. And I think that fills in the whole area. So technically, I don't think the height necessarily needs to be two, but I don't mind keeping it a little bit bigger than it needs to be. It's hidden away, I think. I guess I better check on that. Um, yeah, I think it is hidden away. Okay, so there's our LCD screen. So on the next part here, I guess uh, I can hop back in there. I can, uh, again, turn off this background color. We'll just set it to transparent, which is up in the top left. And then we got to start putting in some commands here. Um, now, first thing I want to do is I believe uh, I want to set a, a font size for this. And I think I can keep it uh, solid all the way through. So we'll set, say, a uh, font size of 40. And I also want to set a color. Now, you can, you can type in these. Uh, there's different commands. And I'm going to use quite a few of them in uh, building this LCD. So you obviously have a size command. Um, it is different than the size over here. And actually, if you use these size commands, you don't need to mess with this or the color or any of this stuff. The only thing that still makes a difference is the background color. <clears throat> so basically, I'll just set size 40. I'm not sure if that's the exact size I want it at yet. And then we want to set a color. <clears throat> so when you type in these commands, uh, you always have to type them in in lowercase letters. So if you have an uppercase letter in there, it will not recognize the command. And then you'll just see the command printed on the screen rather than what it's actually supposed to do. So with color, you have to do a couple of things. Uh, color equals, and then you have to put in a number sign, and then it's hexadecimal code, or it's hex hexadecimal colors here. So there's six uh, positions, and it goes zero through F. Um, and it's red, green, and blue for the first two. For instance, like if I put in a couple ones here, that would be the red tones. A couple more, that would be the green tones. And say I want this to be blue, or to have the uh, blue brighter, I'll put in a little bit bigger number. And it goes all the way to F. F would be your, your brightest. Uh, so after 9, it goes to uh, A, B, C, D, and F. Um, so that would uh, basically set those, those two commands there. So now I set the, uh, the size and the color. Um, so the next part here, I want to set a rotation. Now you got to watch it. If you have too many things on one line, that the editor is going to mess up, and you're, uh, you, when you go to edit something, it won't work right. It'll. Um, so I've been kind of learning to not put too much on one line now, but I want to do a rotate command, um, 
And I'm trying to remember uh, what I should do this. Uh, it was a, uh, Since I did this already and lost all my work, I kind of remembered some of it. But uh, there was too much to remember, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget some of it. Okay, so anyway, I put in those, those three uh, commands. And one other thing I'm going to want to put in here, too, is a line height command. Now, none of these are doing anything yet, um, but they're all adjustable. Everything's adjustable. I'm just putting in things to adjust. You can kind of see what's going on with my rotation. Um, that rotate command, when I type in that, it's trying to type in the word line height, and that's what it looks like currently. Um, we're just going to say line height equals, I don't know, uh, let's just, let's, I want to see what's going on. So let's set it at 100. Okay, so now we, we, so now we set our size to 40, our color to uh, that particular color, and our rotate is kind of set. I, I don't think that's the right rotation number. Line height is definitely not right. So now what we want to do is we'll put in another command called position. Now this positions... Um, something uh, from left to right basically so the higher the number the more it would go across this this uh, screen area so i'm just going to put a position of five for right now then we will have to go over here and i need a basic a basic line um so i'll go into this uh, whole uh, grouping of uh, symbols here and there's five pages of them i'm actually looking for like something like this like just a basic thin line goes right down the center that's all i'm really going to need for most of this frame is just this one symbol here. So we'll put that in place and then we'll see, you can see it, it just appeared to the side there. So what I wanna do is try to line this up so there's a line going right up that, uh, this uh, block here on, onto the screen. So first thing, we're, we're, we're gonna wanna raise it up from where it is and I wanna get it closer to the border. So that has to do with this line height command we already put in here. So. I, I, basically, I need to lower this number some. Um, so let's take 30 off from it, see where we end up at. And uh, you kind of have to manually adjust a lot of this by sight. Uh, let's see where that's. And then it also helps to really look closely. Like, I don't want it so far into the corner like that. I want to bring it out a little bit. So uh, let's, uh, let's lower it down a little bit more. I know it equals say 32. You can kind of see that drop a little bit in between looking through the LCD window. It's a little easier when you don't have a lot of text in here. Um, then it uh, becomes harder and harder to see what you're doing. You can always kind of like shift it off though and kind of like stare this way so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, that works a little bit. <laughs> um, let's bring it out a little bit more to, how about, let's just say 10. That's not even enough yet. How about 12? Guess not. 16. Now the hardest part of doing this LCD is going to be these angled lines here and here. And the other lines that I want to do around the frame are all, are, are all square. And they are quicker to do. This part is the hardest though. So let's, let's, try, let's try 18. Well, how far down from the top are we? Okay, so now... I think that should come up a little bit. Got to get this right, uh, though. Otherwise, everything else is going to be a mess. Um, so got to be really, uh, you know, take your time and uh, try to get things lined up the best you possibly can. Like right there, I'm kind of liking, um, if I have another line that kind of comes down there, and this line will go jet across the top there, and a line going across here, down to the other side, and so on. So... We got our first our first piece there, so that's that's great. So what I'm going to do here is every time we do one of these, we're going to have to have another line height uh, command. If I can type. There we go. Um, and I'll just say I don't know. Um, let's say minus 10 this time because we got to actually bring the line height back up a little bit. This dropped it down. Now we're, we're actually going above where we were. That's why the negative num number. So I'll do that, and then we'll uh, we'll do another one of these. Uh, position equals, let's just put in a number here for now, and let's put in that same symbol we used before. And you can kind of see where it is right now. It's kind of a little bit above it. You can kind of see it through there. So uh, first we need to get our position out further. 
So let's just up it by 20 and see where we're at. Pretty close. Now we need to modify our line height, so we need to take up a little bit more. So rather than minus 10, let's try minus 12, how about 14. Um, close. It's a little bit of jitter right there yet, so let's try 15. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, a little bit of jitter in that yet. You can kind of see that there's a bit of a fluctuation. you got to look pretty closely. So you can also use decimal points here. So um, let's say it's minus, let's try minus 14.5. Okay, now we'll look at it again. Now it's a little bit on the other side, a little bit of jitter. I'm trying to get rid of it. So let's try 14.5. Uh, seven five then. Okay, now that's pretty dead on. Um, so you don't really see too much wrong in those two two pieces there. All right, so again, we'll uh, I'm gonna copy this now because I think that might be the same line height command I'm gonna need for the next one. So then let's copy this whole command now and put it on the next line and now let's, uh, let's see that's a difference of what 32 so if we follow the numbers this should be 82 I think basically what's what I just did there is uh, if you if you took 50 and you minus 18 from it <clears throat> you'd get 32 and that I think is going to be the the difference in position that I need on the next one moving it to the next location further inward so it should be 82 um, and yeah it is so cool so now we can kind of repeat this process again and then we got to add another 32 to this so let's see what would be at a uh, one uh, <laughs> Need a calculator. Uh, okay, 32, that'll be one, uh, 112, isn't it? Um, one, 14. Yeah, I think that's it. So 114, and probably two more like that. It's just doing the one line. So another 32 to this would be 46. And let's do it again. And we'll add another 32, so 78. And okay, so now we got this line. It goes right up to about there. Um, I don't know if my angle's entirely correct. I tried to be mathematically correct with the angle, like if you took uh, 45 and you added 22.5 to it. Um, to, to come up with that angle, it didn't actually come out right. Um, so I uh, figured out that 64.5 looked better. <laughs> so it's kind of a visual thing. Okay, so we got a line on one side now, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to skip down here. We're going to do another line height. Oops, keep on doing that. Yeah, I don't even know what it's supposed to equal. Right now, um, we'll just say line height equals zero. And now what we want to do is repeat that process on the other side. But line height's actually probably going to equal something closer to 100, I bet. Or uh, it's relative of where the last line height was. This is not absolute numbers. So if I were to change one of the line heights over here, whatever I put after this line height will also be different, um, which kind of makes it a bit confusing. Uh, when you're doing a lot of this stuff. It's not, um, I wish you could just put in like X, Y coordinates, say, hey, put this at, you know, five five pixels in, five pixels down. And, you know, that would that would be sensible. But uh, this is uh, some weird kind of code. I'm, I'm glad we can do these kinds of things. It adds in a lot of stuff you can do in the game, but it is, it is uh, rather rough <laughs> sometimes. Okay, so anyway, line height is there. Um, 
I guess we want to start with our angle line. So I'm going to go down one more here and we're going to do another position. Oh, you know what? We also got to change our rotation too. So let's, um, let's copy this rotation command here or uh, uh, thing. And this is at minus 64.5. So I want to get rid of that minus. So now we should be going the opposite direction. And then we'll put in a position of, uh, I don't know. Let's see where 700 starts us at. And then another one of the same symbols here. Okay, so now you can see that we put it here. So we're going to have to get that lined up across this top in that corner position. Try to match it up as best we can to exactly how this one's sitting. We, we can make adjustments after the fact, but it does get a little, it gets harder to do. Um, making adjustments after the fact, after something's already been kind of plotted out. So my line height is um, not good. So let's, let's instead of uh, 100, let's take it to zero, see where we end up at. And that's too high now. Um, so let's try 10. And it's going to be hard to see often when you're trying to look through the, uh, the screen. Sometimes if you uh, point off to a, a direction, you can kind of see a little bit of the window off to the side without the, the text being in your way, uh, which, which does help. Um, so let's increase our position here. Um, okay, I just want to take a look exactly where this, okay, so because we got a little texture line there, it looks like it goes right to the edge of that black right there. So we got to go out a few more so it lines up to about there. Um, and let's go to 805. No, not enough. 810. It's close. I think that's pretty close. Again, this is a little bit more complicated LCD too. Um, using like the uh, the rotates and different things like that. Um, it do, do, does make it, uh, does a, it takes a bit. Um, so I'm gonna throw in another line height command here. Um, and I don't even know what it's gonna have to equal. Probably the same difference though. Um, we're gonna say 32 because that was the, uh, the jump that I did um, between the intervals on the last line that was made. So we don't have to repeat that rotate command. It will, it will keep on rotating whatever you, you put in after that rotate command until you clear it out by setting rotate equals zero. So I don't need that anymore. I do need a position command. Um, so uh, this position would have to be out further than the first one by a difference of, well, 32. So I think, yeah, so 810, so it would be 842. Um, and then we would want to put in another one of these and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So my line height command needs is it brought it too far down. So let's raise that up a little bit. Uh, let's try 18, 17. You can kind of, again, see it right through the LCD a little bit. Um, uh, 17. How about 16? See how close we look there. Pretty close. There's a little bit of a jitter there. So how about 15.5? Well, too much on the other side. Let's try 15.75. Yes, and you can put in decimal points here, which you kind of need to do to really line these things up so you don't get like jittery looking lines and stuff like that. Now I'm, I'm concerned about the height going across, like maybe this one's a little bit higher than what the other one is. I think I can adjust that after the fact though. Um, so I'm gonna try that a little bit once we get that top line in place. All right, so we've got that. Uh, let's put in another line height command here at the end of that. And let's take this whole thing and copy it and put it to the line below. Add 32 to this, so we'd be at uh, 74. And did that work? 
kind of dead, kind of dead. So we got our third, third line marking there. So let's copy this whole thing again. Paste it down here, add 32. So that would be what, uh, 906, I think. Okay, so we got that. I kind of see it popped in place. Let's copy you again. Add 32, so 38 here. And then we're going to need another one more. Okay. This is probably the hardest part of uh, this particular LCD, uh, which is just a frame. That's all this LCD is intended to be right now. I might add more to the frame later on, uh, but it's going to have other backing LCDs to um, print out the information and stuff. So we'll copy you, paste you down here. So we need to add 32, so that would be uh, 70 here, I think. Okay, so now that took it all the way to there. This looks like it's getting tighter and tighter. Yeah, my, my base angle's off a little bit. But it is, that would be a real chore to fix, I think. I wonder if I should try... Hmm. Now let's let's carry on. Maybe I can fix that after the fact too. I think I can. Um, okay, so the next, so we got those two lines kind of plotted. Um, I don't know how accurate it's going to be right now, but uh, some of that will come in to play. So let's get a line from here going to here, and I bet you this is too tall anyway. So that needs to probably come down a block or two. So, okay, so after all this is done, we already got our, our uh, next line height command in. So I don't think I need to change the size of anything, though. So I'm just going to set a position, let's say 200, so we can see what's going on. And then I'm going to change the uh, the symbol, though. Um, I think this is the same as that, just at uh, yeah, uh, horizontal instead of vertical. Let's see if we can see where that is. Oh, yep, and we also have to fix the rotation. Um, so, clear out the rotation here. Rotate equals zero. Okay, now we need to bring that up quite a bit. Here, let's try to wedge the screen over here so you can see it. Okay, so then we can adjust it by the previous line height position. So, um, let's say minus uh, 40. About 80, 90, and minus 94, pretty close. Now let's back it off a little bit. So position, say 194, oh, a little too much, 196. And it looks like it could stand to go up just a little bit. Minus 90, let's add a 0.5 there see what that looks like close um, um, how about two five here no nope, that's a little bit too down so yeah I guess if you want to be precise you're gonna have to like uh, run a lot of these decimal points and stuff to really line this stuff up right that's kind of where I was. It is pretty close, so I don't know if I'm going to get much better than that. Okay, so we've got that one started. Now, at least this part's a little easier. So now I can just take this symbol, rather than giving it a different position each time, I can just kind of copy that out. You can watch that line draw across the top of the screen, and I have a feeling it's going to run into the other edge at the wrong place, which is okay. Okay, so... Now we know. Now we know. Um, so now this, uh, we're going to have to make an adjustment on this last one again to bring this line back in position here. But what I want to do is take this line and shift it down uh, so it matches this line that was put across. So to do that, uh, we got to take a look at our line height commands here. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Um, 
So height equals 15. Let's add like three to this or something like that. Let's say, uh, how, how about how about 19? Let's set a 19 there. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the top one. Let's put that back to 15. Oh, and, and, and by the way, by the way, um, lessons I learned on, on doing this the uh, the first time on the video that I, I guess I'm not going to release, I uh, got very upset at the end of it. Um, never, ever use an undo command, uh, or you can go into the end key tool. And if I hit undo right now, it would blow away this LCD that I made, and you could never get it back. Um, and until I saved the creation, or at least copied and pasted all the text out of the LCD and pasted it in a text file somewhere or something. Um, it, it basically, it cost me a good hours of time um, because I accidentally, I was trying to show something else with the undo command and it, uh, it, it blew away all the work I did on the LCD, um, unfortunately. And I couldn't get it back and I didn't have it saved, so bad, bad, bad. Um, okay, so the N, N1 here, we got to bring this down, let's say to 19.75. No. <laughs> um, how about the other way? It was 14, so let's go to 10. Okay, don't mind that other line that shifted there. We're going to have to bring that back up again. These LCDs are an absolute chore to make, um, the more complicated you get with them. So, I mean, when you see authors and they have really nice looking, sophisticated LCDs and, you know, um, just be mindful how much time that actually took for that author to, to, to do that. Um, it, it's pretty significant. Um, okay, so this one here we need to raise up. So this, this one's going to go up some, get that line reestablished. I got that little artifact there in the corner. There is a way to fix that. Um, if I can select here. Say we take that end one out, and then we put in a position here first, and we'll just say, I don't know, put in a number, and then another one of the same symbols. The only thing that's scaring me is I'm like, going past the next line order, which can really screw things up now, but, um, God, I don't know if you guys are even grasping what I'm trying to do here or not. I'm, I'm trying to explain it, but yeah, this is, it's tricky. It is certainly tricky. Okay, so I was just trying to get that to line up to the edge and not have that little thing um, going over. But now I see that I have to adjust uh, this number a little bit and it needs to come down let's just say we're at 16 even no wrong way 14 no oh wrong one anyway uh, okay let's put you back at 15.75 and let's adjust this one here uh, minus 10 how about minus how about, let's get rid of the 7.5. Nah, okay, that was all right, but now we got to increase this one um, by 99. Let's raise that back up again, but that's too much. How about get rid of that too? Pretty close. Little bit of a thingy there. 99.25. Try that. Almost. I think it's close enough. I don't think it'd be. Well. Yeah, there's that little jitter right there yet. Okay, I think I can fix that by altering this. Let's say uh, 759. Brought that inward a little bit and cleaned up that line. That line's close. Oh, I'm seeing a little bit of uh, it's a little bit of something in there, I guess, um, the way I did that, but it's not too bad. So now we've got three lines made. So that's that, that's a start. <laughs> All right. So the next part here, I'm just going to go down to a fresh line here, and we're going to just do a uh, line height command again. Um, I don't know 
what to set it at at the moment. We'll just set it at zero, and that's it for that line. Um, okay, so the next part here, what I want to do is we're going to have to uh, reset the rotation. You know what? Let's do that on the same command here, too. Uh, rotate equals zero. So, and then we need to put in a position, and I'm not sure exactly where yet. We'll just say 10, and then we want our uh, this vertical line here. And let's see if we can actually see it anywhere. Probably not. Um, mm, probably has to do with the line height command I got going on here. Let's try a different number in there. Can I see it yet? Nope. Let's uh, position it out more from the edge. Um, how about position 100? Just so I can get bearings on where the, where the line position actually is right now, which I'm not sure. Let's try minus 100, no. Um, plus 200. Let's see, what, what was the previous line? It was a minus 99. Oh, there it is. It just showed up. Okay, I had to go. Don't ask me. I, I, I don't know why I have to set the line height to 200 here to make this visible again. This used to screw me up, and I always thought you had to have that, the line height command <clears throat> at the end of a statement, no matter what. And that makes a lot of statements or a lot of these uh, command things that, uh, s that screw up in the editor, put it that way, because they get too long. It can't handle very many characters per line before it messes up. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's uh, lower it down a little bit more here. Uh, probably a little too much. Thirty. Let's back it off. Let's say ten. Okay, getting there. Six. Four. Raise it up a little bit. One he goes. How about uh, two twenty-four? Oops. Nope. Um, 226. And let's position three it. It's looking pretty good. Let's try 227, see what happens. Okay. I think that's good. I'm liking that. So we're going to do both lines at the same time. So we're going to do this line, and we're going to do the line on the other side at the same time because they're both at the same line height. So what I'm going to do is another position, and let's give it a big number and put in that same character again. Um, okay, so now we got that one over here, and now we just got to uh, alter that position. Can't see though. This it makes it really difficult to see what you're doing um, with these kind of things. So let's uh, let's try position 900. No. Uh, 980, 990, too much. Okay, 986. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe nine. Let's try 985. Just trying to get rid of that little jitter. That's too much. Point five. Let's uh, let's take both of them and raise them up a, uh, a smidgen here. Um, nine hundred equals two twenty-five. How about two twenty-six point five? I'm trying to get rid of that artifact that was on this side and make sure that this one didn't get one. Okay, good, good. Uh, I think they're both about right. This seems like it's wedged over a little bit closer to the edge than that side, though. Well, anyway, okay, so now we've got this, and we're going to have to put a line height command here, too. i um, not sure how much, though. Let's just say uh, 30. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this uh, whole thing here, and I'm going to copy it, put it below, see what see what happens okay so obviously the lines went down further 
Um, and I'm gonna see what their borders are. So let's try like 36, uh, about 40. Okay, 40, you start to see a little gap between the two. So I don't really want that on this particular LCD. So let's try, uh, let's back it off by two, 38. And then we'll set this one to 38 as well. And then I can pretty much just take this one, copy it, and then uh, do it again until we go to the, the, the bottom of it. Okay. Now we got those two lines in place, and we got uh, got some lines. Got some lines. We got five whole lines done. We only got to do one more line, um, except yeah, the adjust uh, the gap between that line and this line isn't quite isn't quite right, unfortunately. And this angle isn't quite right either. It's close. That's gonna be a bit problematic. Let's see if I can try to fix and maybe bring this one out a um, couple more on that side. Let's see what happens. So it's doing that. So we're going to say all these are going to go to position five on that side of it, which will bring that out a little bit more. Now, uh, also, we've got to get back up into here and we got to position these out a couple more too so i guess this would be, have to be that's gonna be a nightmare <laughs> okay by two so 20 52 84 84 148 180. See what happens. Oops. Okay, so basically, I was just trying to pull this out from the edge a little bit more. And now, now that doesn't quite line up right. So, uh, this line here, uh, let's position it out a couple as well. Okay, and because it's, it's doing that last one in uh, special, it fit again. So I just kind of position that over a little bit. So now we've got a border like that on this side. A little, little, little bit off, less noticeably off, but um, still a little bit off. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Um, I guess that you know if this was like an asset for a publicly released video game, you know I'd work it, you know I'd work it out till it's perfect. Um, but this is just a, a creation with a one of a kind LCD for Imperium. Um, it, it, to, to get it to the uh, production level of quality, it does take more time. Just always will. Okay, so anyway, last part here. Uh, we have our rotation set to zero already so this might be this last part is probably the easiest of the whole thing so we're going to just say position equals five for now i'm going to run um, let's say this character here and there it is you can kind of see it on the bottom i'm going to adjust the uh, the previous line height command to raise it up a little bit um how about one more so it comes off the ground just a just a bit. Okay, so then we can kind of take this symbol and just copy that across, all the way across the bottom of this thing. And okay, it's not going to quite line up at the very end. If I put in one more, it's going to go over or just not draw it. Uh, that happens too. Um, so what we got to do is we got to put in a, another custom position here and I don't know what to set it to right now let's just say like I don't know 970 and then put in one more of those which was this and then let's play with the number let's take it down to about 915 and see if we okay you see that uh, very hard to notice but let's uh, 952 and 952 
52 looks pretty good. Nine, let's try that. 52.5. Okay, well, not perfect, but there is a uh, uh, shape like frame. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go save. Oops, I'm going to save the ship right now. Um, so w what I did wrong on the last video um, is I, uh, I started painting some things and I changed the light setting. And I was trying to demonstrate how like if you change something on a light, like if I was going to uh, up the spotlight angle or something like that, um, the undo will not remember it. Um, and that's what I was trying to show. Um, don't ask me why I decided to show that then, but um, I hit undo one extra time, and what had happened is the LCD that I placed over here, it just removed it. And if you, if you redo it, it does not bring back any of the contents of the LCD, so I lost, I lost everything. I lost everything that I did um, on this part of it. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of the deal. Um, and yeah, we managed to make some lines <laughs> and that's, that's kind of what I wanted to show with this one. Obviously we can place text the same way as, as these lines. Um, the, this, the, the text stuff is pretty easy in comparison. Um, unless you're doing like horizontal, uh, lettering, um, that gets a little tricky. Let me just show you something with that. Um, let me, let's go down a floor. Um, on this, um, doing these letters here for cargo, obviously I had to do a rotation at like, uh, it was either 90 or minus 90 degrees, I, I forget. Um, but then you had to like uh, set a, a new line position per letter, and then you had to try to space out the spacing between the letters correctly. And I thought I was all good for that, and it, it, it was going to make uh, some sense. And here's here's the actual coding behind that and you can kind of see where it's doing the cargo word this was the hardest part of this LCD um, but uh, it, it doesn't quite space everything out right when I change the word like uh, let's go down here to where I got the ammo ones um, and the ammo ones uh, what I first replaced simply the letters here um, they're Hor their uh, horizontal positioning was like off and I had to like custom set those and custom set all these these line heights for the particular letters here and they're not universal like if I changed the letters and these weren't M's they would be spaced wrong but because they're M's they're I try to line it up so it, was, it looked right again because it was a mess so basically I had to kind of like spend a bunch of time changing the one word on these LCDs to uh, to work. But I did make it really easy uh, for a couple of these things, like setting the uh, the number on these LCDs, like what storage base it's in. Um, that's like the very bottom thing, and all you got to do is just replace this number to whatever you want. Um, and also, the uh, you can replace your storage volume number right here. Um, as well so those two are adjustable easy but the but the actual name is not on these because uh, they're done like vertical like that but I did like that I did the same thing with the elevator LCDs too uh, which I got the idea from looking at other people's creation quite honestly and I thought it looked really neat so yeah I thought uh, why not I'll try to keep it all in theme with the LCDs on this It's kind of like a whole new set of LCDs uh, for a lot of these things and what I have left to do besides this uh, the screen up here is I got to uh, make a lot of little sign LCDs like um, that are going to be all over the place saying different things, I guess, you know, like, you know, the bridge is that way or the, the farm is this way or, you know, stuff like that. So that is another set of LCDs that I'm going to have to like wop up. But uh, this one here, um, my, my next goal and I got to get ambitious enough to do this, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe later today. But uh, my next goal would be to take um, a picture of the ship from the top view, something like this, um, like straight, straight down at it, um, and get get a nice little picture. I'll probably modify it a little bit in Photoshop, and then recreate the uh, the body lines on an LCD um, to match the shape of the saucer, generally speaking. And the rest of it's, I mean, it's pretty, pretty squarish. Um, so do that and then I'll like make a, a square line and basically kind of draw it like a 
outline frame of uh, from the top view of the ship and then from there I can put on little lines that like will come out over here and say that this is like a weapons you know this is like one of your launcher bays and it could say whether that's on or off um, and that that could be toggleable depending on you know what what your options are on the ship you know your p menu settings or whatever um, and the same thing for the other like launcher bays over here and then the launcher bays in here um, it's gonna be a little hard to show the stuff on the bottom from the top view. I thought about doing the side view too, but that would be a lot more complicated, and I don't even want to try it with an LCD. I think the uh, the, the the top view is simple enough. Um, where obviously doing the same kind of thing I just did there with uh, doing those those angle 22.5 degree lines um, would have to take place here, but also 45, and then you know a couple more 22.5s and just line up the stuff going all the way around the uh, the saucer and then uh, try to line out this area too. I mean, very simple though. I mean, I'm not, not going to try to like add in like the little extra flares over to the sides over here or anything like that. So, um, and before I go, uh, just to show you, since I, <laughs> this is a work in progress and I've been doing videos on this, I did add a couple, a couple rooms, um, not on this deck though. <laughs> Let me go down a deck. Uh, off to the side over here. Uh, one more, one more kind of boring crew room here. Um, so again, set up to hold a solar panel. Um, actually, two solar panels in this room. So you got a solar panel fits there, and a solar panel fits here, or a big solar panel. Um, so that accommodates. So far, the first room does four solar panels. The second room does two, uh, one solar panel. And the third room does two solar panels, so that's uh, that's eight so far. Um, this room here is like a water tank room, um, and it had a little bit higher ceilings in here, which is kind of nice to be able to get like this in. But this water uh, this water tank thing is um, uh, basically designed uh, to hold two more solar panels inside of it. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on there. So I just I wanted to split up the rooms. I'm really uh, already very getting bored of making crew rooms. Um, so I, I did want to get like a water tank in. Um, still, this is going to be like your uh, captain's quarters over here, and there's going to be like a, a first mate quarters like right next to it, um, and then uh, probably uh, like a laboratory, probably another crew room over, or one or two more crew rooms on the uh, on this side. But I did want to get like a laboratory in here. And some variety, basically. Uh, the crew rooms are really boring. And all these rooms I'm setting up to hold solar panels with a target goal of holding 22 large solar panels along the uh, outer edges of the saucer. So I think I was at, uh, let's see, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was at nine to this point. Um, so yeah, it's, I still got, oh, it was at another 11. I can't think. <laughs> I, uh, I, a, a lot more solar panels have to be uh, able to be put in these other rooms as well, and then I'll be really happy. So then you'll have like dual purpose rooms, slash, in my case, and playing in uh, Reforged Eden, I want to be able to dump the solar array in the ship, and I certainly don't want them visible on the outside um, on a ship like this. So that's just kind of one of those weird game things, uh, gameplay things that I was just like, yeah, you know, if I'm going to have like all this time and effort in the ship, you know, my, my, uh, my little Janus I'm using now has solar. I love it. I would hate to not have a, uh, definitely a higher end ship, not have that same capability as my, my cheapy low end ship right now. So, um, anyway, that's the, that's it for this video. I just kind of wanted to show you basics of, of doing like a little bit more, uh, framing stuff with LCDs. I got to see the, the size command, line height command, position command, color command and rotate command um those are they you know there's some other things you can center stuff um and i'm sure there's some other commands too um but uh, pretty much with those commands here i can kind of do anything i really want to do that's 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 possible with an lcd um but uh yeah some of the, some of the other people that that make those really wonderful lcds they're they're doing a lot more trickery than that yet i think so Anyway, you all have yourself a great day, and I will uh, talk to you later.